In the hospital, uh, you know, we, we do a lot of different tests. We do vital signs, we do blood work, we do a lot of different things to try to see what's going on with the patient. Especially going with the vital signs, one of the greatest things about it, you have a standardized way of, you know, people checking it, people taking a look at what's, you know, going on with the patient, you can assess what's going on. Cognizance, the, uh, the interesting thing about that tool is the fact that it, it actually gives almost like a, a vital signs of like the cognition of the patient. Kind of gives you information that we don't have on the patients currently in the hospital. I mean, and a lot of times we're getting a phone call and we don't see the, we can't see the patient. Um, or even if you do, do uh, see the patient, it's like a snapshot in time. And, and the person's been there in the hospital, especially if you're just coming on service, the person's been in the hospital for like weeks, you know, you, at least you get a good idea of what's been going on on their mental status. And we don't really have that type of uh, tool uh, embedded, uh, like an easy way for us to see that in the, in the hospital setting. I think Cognizance actually kind of provides a lot of that.